Hey guys, here's another video of the progress of my HP Omen Obelisk. Uh, back there, you guys can see I've moved all the components to a bigger case. I've also added more fans and I installed a, 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 a hybrid cooling kit to the GPU opposed to my own invention that I did, I did on one of the videos. And that is also working a little bit better. Um, before I get into that, I do need to bash HP though. Um, when I first got this desktop, I absolutely loved it. But then again, I didn't know shit about desktops or how to even build one or upgrade or even water cool it for that matter. Um, but now, guys, I can say HP, and I hope they watch this. You guys did a piss poor job of marketing this desktop as upgradable. It's a pain in the ass to even add more fans to that damn case. Uh, with that damn motherboard having just one uh, 3.0 um, connection. Guys, if you guys haven't bought this and are looking into it, do not buy it for two grand. You can build a much better computer that will blow this thing out of the water in performance. And you can also upgrade it opposed to this, this thing that, you know, it's only going to go for a couple years. Um, but those who already have it, like I do, there's still some hope in cooling that GPU and making it a little more functional. Um, and also another thing why I was bashing HP is that they this this reference card uh, when we got it, you know, it's it's it has one fan. It's a blower st uh, blower style type card, and you know it's all good and stuff until you play and it's freaking at eighty six Celsius, you know, and then you uh, you add the program and you turn on the fans to max and it's freaking loud as hell and it is only cools into like the 76s it, it's you know it's no uh when i purchased it i thought i was gonna get uh the uh, founders edition card but we're stuck with this card guys um but good thing um um evga came along with this uh, this kit and if you have that that uh the still have that case the hp omen uh case this kit's gonna fit because it's a uh, has a one 120 millimeter uh fan end radiator so it'll fit in that case and it, it's from evga uh the xc xc2 check it out it's for uh 169.99 um and uh, i love their products but you know once i found out it was a reference card and and on their website EVGA's website said that it fit uh, all reference cards. Uh, I was absolutely, absolutely stoked to get it. And I finally got it and I was installing it. Everything was going great. However, one, once it came to uh, connecting the fan on there, um, come to find out, this thing is con uh, connects to a series of other um, cables there. And it ends up uh, being a 19-pin, I think it's a 19-pin ribbon cable. That you have to connect uh, to the GPU. Well, HP uh, manufactured our cards so that it has two mini four-pin connectors, one for the red LED and one for their fan. Why they do that, I don't know. Um, but it simply cannot connect to our GPU, so I had to order um, some fans. Also, from these are some EVGA fans from uh, another card, and these are used. But it comes with a uh, mini four pin connector that you can connect to this card um so again this is the the one that came with the kit this is a mini like a super mini uh four pin uh, and let me put it on there so you guys can pair the size and it will not work even trying to connect it to the uh the card you guys can see the super mini one versus the four pin that actually can connect to our card so you'll ha you'll have to pick up an extra fans and, and it has to be EVGA uh, to, to have those three uh, screws, that, you know. This is the, the one that came off the kit. Luckily, I found these two. And they just screw on and connect to the card. But, and I'll show you more into detail what I mean. You're all probably confused. But um, other than that, you know, it, it, this kit works. You don't have to do any major um, customizations. You just have to do a few steps in order to keep the back plate. Because again, HP, I don't even want to talk about those guys anymore. Anyway, 
here's the video. Okay, guys, well, one important thing I forgot to mention, um, the first part was this kit is supposed to be RGB illuminated. Unfortunately, due to HP, we cannot uh, use that functionality on this card. So keep that in mind. Uh, next step is removing the 18 uh, screws on top of this uh, plate. And uh, four of them are the spring loaded that hold the heat sink. You remove all the top ones and uh, then you'll have to remove the three that are on right here on the card on each side and loosen the three tops and even sh uh, shows you on the instructions to loosen those three. Uh, you drop the shroud, the bottom shroud and the middle plate, uh, the one holding the fan and the LED is on the bottom and you'll have to be careful when disconnecting those so you don't damage the uh, the connections right here uh, right there the white and the black one um, this is already semi installed so don't it's not gonna look like that obviously and you remove the the top plate the next step is adding the um, bracket here and this is where it outperforms my invention you get the heat sink and uh, the the fan, the EVG fan is actually installed there. You guys can see the three holes there. Um, but I've removed this one to replace it with the other one. This is the ribbon that comes into it. Uh, but let me explain how this is works. This uh, actual bracket makes contact with memory with some uh, thermal tape. As you guys can see on all three of them. Uh, the only thing that the this lacked was one uh, of the... Of this would didn't have thermal tape you guys can see the gray ones they had one on this row one on this row but it was lacking there i'm not sure if they forgot it or they just completely missed it but all i did was borrow uh, two strips that were originally on here so that uh, i had to make sure it made contact with the heat sink and uh, so i was mentioning to you this uh this makes uh contact with the memory and the actual pump itself you guys can see makes contact with the GPU and the plate, so it effective, effectively cooled both of them. Great, great thing from EVGA. I love, love this product. And uh, anyway, so um, the their connector or their fan uh, connects to uh, this uh, uh, wires uh, that this one's supposed to connect to the RGB uh, shroud which this is where unfortunately you cannot uh, use it. The fan connects to it. And like I said, this is a super like mini four pin connector, uh, which is why we can't use that fan. And this one connects to the pump and this powers the pump and it also powers the, the 120 millimeter fan that comes with this uh, radiator. So you can control this fan, the pump and the other fan all via the GPU. Uh, card which is a, a great thing, but unfortunately here's the problem. This is the 19 uh, pin connector that I was talking to you guys about that and all other cards you guys can see right here is where it should connect. We don't have that option. Why? Because HP decided to do this stupid thing man. I swear um, Anyway, so I had to remove that and this is where this um, other other fan from EVGA and it has to be an EVGA fan with those three uh, that connect there. And this is a regular regular mini four pin connector where I will be connecting this. Uh, this leaves me open to connect to this mini four, pin, uh, fin, mini four pin connector to connect to the pump and power that fan as well. So yeah, let's put that out of the way for now. Uh, next step is adding, uh, installing that bracket. I don't know if I can mention it, but I'll say it again. Uh, it goes using the flathead screws and they uh, EVGA provides a ton of screws. So it's another neat thing. You might not need all of them, but you use the flat skid, uh, screws that they uh, ask you to, where the original uh, spring loaded uh, for the heat sink were attaches that. Now the next step is it tells you to add the, the uh, the heat sink. Now this only uh, attaches with three screws, one right here, one right here, and one right here. Now the only problem with that is if you use the screws from EVGA, because of HP, 
we cannot use the back plate. So, and I'll explain why. Once you add the screw here and the screw here and here, like it asks you, asks you to, well, because of this back plate, you see the little lumps there. And this is where a hole is supposed to be actually, but it's not there. Once you place this and add all the other screws, well, it bulges. It, it actually works pretty bad and it's, it, you know, it doesn't work. So I found a way around it. With one of the screws that you took out from the car, you, you find the one with the flattest head. And fortunately for us, it has the same thread. So you just attach one, and this is gonna be the middle one right here. Just attach one for now. Next step is the trickiest one. Just putting the back plate on the card and you have to the well on the on the instruction that says you're supposed to install the pump with the spring-loaded uh, screws on these four right here okay great right but once you put that those stick out like that much again you can't add the plate so what you have to do unfortunately you're gonna have to not use the spring-loaded uh, screws and instead of use your their screws that they provide which is are these ones the only uh, problem with that is that you need to tighten them gently and you do that uh, uh, by adding the pump first so you attach them right there and gently tighten them so that you do not warp the card and I'll do that right now okay so I've installed the pump and this is the most uh, single important thing of the whole uh, process here do not tighten these four that hold the pump too much just when you uh, feel that it's giving you tension um, so that you don't warp the card or damage the uh, GPU and this these four actually are holding the this plate right now and then I also uh, finally added the last two of the heat sink and that's basically all the process now this wire you're gonna have to run it through here once you close the shroud there's a gap right there to not, not damage this um, for the uh, fan uh, this is the pump cable that will connect to the wire splitter on the fan that I ordered uh, and I'll install that right now connect it right here and connect these two there um, and I do need to mention that uh, this is the one that was on there again. These cables were all in the grooves of the, uh, they were neatly uh, put in between the grooves of the uh, the heat sink. One was right there and it ran all the way to there and the 19 pin came out here. So uh, they were wedged in there with this little rubber um, squares that you'll need to gently um, take off. And like I said, I wouldn't discard this just in case you ever get a uh, Founders Edition and, and uh, actually just install it there. But I'll go ahead and add the fan now. The fan is now installed. Uh, if you guys can't find a fan uh, with a wire splitter like this one, just get a mini uh, four pin wire splitter to connect the fan and the pump. Uh, there's an, uh, Since you can now uh, control this fan and the radiator fan and the pump do note that uh, when you um, put the rpms at high on here it will also uh, affect the the, um, the the fan of the radiator as well um, unless you just connect it to uh, a different uh, power supply of the fan then you don't have to worry about it but just a little side note on that at this point uh, the the hybrid uh, shroud is ready to go in and this ribbon uh, will need to be um, tucked in kind of out of the way of the fan and the shroud just goes on there I'm gonna push that ribbon out of the way and the final step is adding the remaining screws uh, here where the available holes are which HP did right finally this time. And uh, uh, note that there's a silver um, screw that is on there uh, this other way that you'll have to remove and able to utilize 
this to attach the, the shroud. And uh, again, I can't stress enough, gently tighten these screws so that you do not warp the card. Um, and that's that, guys. And let me get those on, install it. Okay, well, the card's now in there with the radiator connected, everything. Uh, it's already uh, giving it enough time to equalize uh, temperatures. Uh, do not reach more than 62 degrees Celsius, guys. Um, and this is being overclocked at uh, solid 1980. Sometimes it spikes up to 1995 megahertz. And uh, 4K, 60 frames per second capped. So. There's a 62, 61, like I said, it doesn't go over 62. And that's just with the fan set at uh, 15 RPM. And that's, I'm talking about the fan inside the GPU. Now this case, if, if any of you guys are interested, is the, uh, it's from Corsair. It's the Carbid Spec um, 04. And have all the fans installed in in there connected through that 3.0 thanks to this guys this is what makes it all happen the commander pro down there so essentially it's still the heart of a hp omen obelisk i even transferred the logo there but yeah there it is guys go for this kit man i love it